For those who find it difficult to do this task, here's a simple method to do that. Just wait for a few seconds, and you'll notice that the knob gets slower during every turn. Hence, it'll become easy if you wait for a while and then do it. Don't simply use the cams, use them effectively. Position yourself in such a way that you can see this vent when you open the cams. In this way, if someone enters into the med bay and then vents, you'll know who it is. Similarly, if someone vents from electrical to med bay and exits, you'll know who it is. If you see someone doing the power divert task as soon as the game begins, they're 100% the imposter. Because firstly, you need to divert power from the electrical, and only then can the diverted power be accepted by the other parts of the map. Also, you can pay attention to these small written texts so as to understand where the second part of the task would be. Suppose there are three crewmates in a room. Here's an awesome vent strategy which you can use. Firstly, turn off the lights. Now quickly vent towards the room and finish one of them and quickly vent back. As soon as one of them finds the body, they will automatically put the blame on the other person standing in the room because they didn't see anyone else come or go away from the room. Here's a 200 IQ trick. While playing Mira HQ, stand close to the right walls of either communications or med bay. When an imposter finishes someone on the other side, you'll see a splash. Now quickly run towards the cafeteria to see who the imposter is. Now have a look at the POV of the imposter. Here's an addition to the previous trick. Suppose you see the splash while standing in the med bay. Look carefully at the doors. For a split second, you can see the color of the player. Hence, you can tell who the imposter is. Now have a look at the POV of the imposter. Suppose you mistakenly vent or finish someone while the cams were on. Instantly close the security room because the crewmate will be in a hurry to call a meeting. It will take 10 seconds for the door to open, so you'll have an ample amount of time to run towards the security. Now finish them before they call a meeting. This path is the shortest path from security to cafeteria, hence it's obvious that the crewmate would definitely use the same path. Using the door logs to find the imposter is too difficult. Instead, just stand at the center of the Y. Now remember who went towards which side. Suppose yellow and pink went towards the bottom right side. Wait for them to return. If they both don't return, go and check what happened. If you find a body, you know who the imposter is. One of them finished the other and vented out. More than two people cannot have the same download task. So if you see three people doing a download task at the same place, one of them is most likely an imposter. Keep in mind there are a total of five download locations and one upload location, which is in the admin. Hence, everyone has to come to admin to upload the data. So don't get confused between download and upload. Here's a 300 IQ trick. Suppose you finish someone in the electrical. Do not close the doors and vent out because there is a chance that someone will see you while coming out of the med bay. Instead, finish them, now go out, and close the door. So if someone comes along, you both would spot the body together and they can vouch for you. Hence, you won't be a suspect. Whenever you see two crewmates in a room, sabotage and close the door. This will make both sus of each other. White will think blue is the imposter, whereas blue will think white is the imposter. 
Hence, this creates confusion among the crewmates. While you're going towards the decontamination, pay attention to these floor lights. These lights suggest when the door opens. Firstly, all the eight segments will turn off, and then they'll slowly start to glow. As soon as all of the segments are glowing, the gate opens. Some of the tasks can be done by using the sound hints. For example, you'll hear a beep while doing the Align Telescope task. This beep sound increases as you move closer to the given planet. Similarly, the sound decreases as you move away from the given planet. If you find it difficult to search the given planet, just close the task and reopen it. You'll get a new planet. Now give it a try again. Avoid going to a far off place such as the electrical as soon as the game begins. The imposters will have a cooldown of just 10 seconds during the first round. Hence, there is a high chance that you will get finished there. If you have tasks in the electrical, wait until the next meeting is called, because the imposters will then have a higher cooldown, which is the same to what you've set earlier. After the new update, most of you play with a hidden taskbar, so you won't know who's doing a fake task. Here's a way you can find it out. Just keep in mind the average time taken to complete a task. Suppose it's an upload task. It'll take roughly 9 seconds to complete it. So if you see someone do this, count for 9 seconds. If they walk away early, they're definitely an imposter. Similarly, here are a few more tasks with their average time taken. Most of you still don't know how to kick a player out from the lobby. It's simple. When a meeting is going on, click on the chat button. Now click on this kick button and select the player you wish to kick. Other players also need to do the same. Once they do it, the player will be kicked out from the lobby. Here's a fun fact. If a body is spotted, it can be reported by simply clicking on the body. Just go near it and tap on the body. If you enjoyed watching this and want a part 6 of the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's keep a like game of 100k. Hope you guys do it. Also, make sure to watch the previous parts of the video to become extra pro.